Hey guys, how's it going? This is Lucian Sword, and finally we are going to fight the Orphan Koss. So let's go from our whatever lamp this is. I think it's the last lamp. Fishing Hamlet? No. What is this called? Lighthouse Hut. Go from the Lighthouse Hut lamp into our shortcut onto the elevator. All right, um, let's see, what should we talk about? These are the Carol runes that I'm using. I'm using boost max HP, 5 and 10%, because those are the best ones I have. I know there's probably a better one. Um, I'm doing the ups visceral attack, 20%, and the continual he healing near death, um, plus one. And the reason I'm doing the visceral attack is because I'm going to hopefully get a counter off on this guy. So, let's go over the strategies for Orphan Koss. These guys, you can just go ahead and roll over um, or attack. They won't even attack you, so it doesn't really matter. But um, this boss fight can be very, very tough. And on New Game Plus, um, it took me quite a few tries. So, let's go over some basic strategies here. Alright, um, this boss has two forms. Once you get him down to about halfway health, he's going to grow a pair of wispy wings and go kind of more berserk. So this boss really is all about patience and timing, knowing his attacks or its attacks. I don't even know what it is. Um, it's some kind of birth child between a great one and something else. I don't know. But in this case, usually the child dies, but in this case, the great one died. And you can see the carcass on the beach there. Um, so anyways, the orphan Koss likes to attack in combos, and he's pretty predictable. I'm hoping to get some combos off. Almost every attack he does can be countered with a well-timed gunshot. And um, I'm going to go ahead and use bolt paper because, I don't know, I'm thinking he might be kind of water-based because he's right by the ocean. Maybe it'll do more damage, but either way, fire or bolt paper is highly recommended. Um, the whole boss arena is really, really large, so um, you can also walk in the water and you're not going to fall off a cliff or anything. There's actually an invisible wall that stops you um, from going completely out to sea. Um... Yeah, I think this is one of those bosses where I'm just going to have to kind of talk about it as I go through the fight. Um, he does lots of different attacks. The only thing that I might um, mention is... Yeah, that's really helpful when I say he does lots of attacks. <laughs> Very in-depth strategy, Lucian. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. It's just hard to explain what he does. Um, he does this one attack in Phase 2 where all this electricity comes down. Um, that's why I'm going to use a shield. It's It's pretty well timed to where you have a lot of time to um, switch to your shield and raise it if you're fighting back in the water. I think it kind of starts here towards the entrance and then goes out towards the sea, the electricity. So um, I like to fight him out in the water kind of, or just kind of in the middle of the arena. So he can be backstabbed at any time. And the uh, other thing you might want to consider doing is backstabbing him while he's transforming or shortly after he transforms in phase two. Um, other than that, it's all about timing, dodging, learning his attacks. You're probably going to die a few times on this one, guys. Um, that's just how it is. Let's do it. In fact, I'm not even confident I'm going to beat him my first try here. So if I don't, then after the cutscene, I will not show you the battle. If I die, I'm just going to only show you the battle that I win. Hopefully it doesn't take that many tries. Unfortunately, as the last boss of the DLC, fighting another humanoid enemy is unfortunately not that creative. Um, was hoping for something a little cooler looking, but oh well. We had an awesome boss in uh, Lawrence because even though it was a rehash of Cleric Beast, I still thought it was fun. We had an awesome boss, Lady Maria, and we had a really, really awesome boss in um, uh, Ludwig. All right, here we go. 
All right, so the Orphan of Cost is down there on the beach. Um, the first attack that he does usually once you approach him is he'll do like a leaping attack. And it's really easy to dodge and he'll oftentimes jump over you. And if you're quick, you can do a uh, charge up attack and get a backstab off him. So other than that, you want to hug his left side and um, kind of stay behind him most of the time. Uh, in his first form, he's a lot easier to manage. Once he gets into a second form, he becomes a lot more, uh, a lot faster. And just harder to pre harder to dodge in general. This is one of those fights where a lot of times we might only get one or two slashes off at a time. Good time to backstab him is when he's slamming down um, into the ground. I want to bring him back into the clearing because if you get stuck on a wall, a lot of times it can end badly. I like to stay kind of towards the water. I only have the one fire paper, so I'm kind of saving it. I have the full paper as well. Oh, that should have been a backstab. That move is also easy to um, counter if you shoot him at the right time or get him in. If you're lucky and you're quick, you can get a backstab on him right when he right when he uh, Holy cow, he's getting a little crazy. Again though, you just want to try and stay behind him if you can. When he jumps up in the air, it can be hard. Hard to dodge that crap. I hate it when he does that. Getting close. Oh, damn it. Got him. That was intense. Lucian Sword. Taking down orphans. No, that's... <laughs> but anyways, um, we get the cost parasite weapon. But that's not all. Let's head back to the beach. You can see why when we're fighting in the water, it's easier, especially in the second form. Because if you get him up against a wall, he can easily pin you down and and kill you so once he's dead if you beat him first of all congratulations on beating the DLC or at least the last boss of the DLC 
Um, if you haven't already killed Lawrence, he's an optional boss in the DLC, and I have a, a video. With, wow, what's going on with my cape? Uh, th I have a video of Lawrence also. I um, already did that. So, um, But anyways, once you are done, let's end this nightmare. Slash the uh, shadow there. And we can see the shadow drift off into the ocean and into the cutscene. Ah, sweet child of Kos, returned to the ocean. A bottomless curse, a bottomless sea, accepting of all that there is and can be. Gained us some insight. Didn't actually get a lot of souls from killing that boss. Let's go ahead and light the last lamp. So let's talk about that boss fight a little bit. Uh, my heart was beating so but so fast there at the end because he, even when you have him down to really low health, he can still kill you like at any time. You saw how much damage he was doing. Sometimes you can just get into an unlucky combo where he'll jump up and throw down that acid and then he'll like quickly sweep in and hit you before you can even recover from the acid hit so I got kind of lucky there didn't have that happen to me um, only had the one fire paper and one bolt paper and I used them both to my advantage so that was good let's see if I can level up anything I will say guys it's been a pleasure to be your host through this nightmare that is the Bloodborne DLC I hope that you found my walkthrough informational, educational, and efficient, and I hope you enjoyed it yourself. Um, this is probably, um, I think I had more fun even playing the, uh, the DLC than I had playing the regular game of Bloodborne, probably just because I was new to the game when Bloodborne came out, as you know anyone is who first plays it, and it was, it, there was a kind of a learning curve there, especially if you're a um, heavy Dark Souls player, it's definitely a lot different. Um, so, let's see if I can repair anything. So, some of you guys may be wondering, what am I going to do now that the DLC is over? Um, I'm not really sure, to be honest. I'm considering starting a New Game Plus playthrough on Bloodborne with my other guy, because you guys don't really see him very much. And, in fact, if you guys want to see what he's like, I can go ahead and load up that character, because you guys never... Never ever ever get to see the guy who puts in all the work behind the recording. I usually record um, on my second character, but I play through the areas first um, with this guy. So let me show you what he looks like and um, his build and see if you guys are interested. He's already in New Game Plus. Gilthus is his name up here. And he is... Mm, I think I just beat the witches or something like that i don't remember i think i just went through forbidden woods with this guy i got the beast rune on but this guy is a lot higher level and let's go ahead and just put um security back on so you can see on this guy i actually use the uh, moonlight greatsword as a primary weapon and i believe i have it leveled up to level 10. So my, my build on this guy is like this, 41 vitality, 35 endurance, 43 strength, and then 25, 24, 27 in the uh, three bottom skills. I'm level 145, but not the highest arcane, but good enough to where this weapon is viable. Um, and for my other weapon, I was thinking about using either the Hunter Axe, the Beast Hunter Safe, the Beast Cutter. I would love to do the Church Pick because it's an awesome looking weapon, but unfortunately the, I mean, it's like a, a skill weapon and I really don't have high skills, so I don't think I would do very good damage with it, but I could try it. I mean, if I leveled it up all the way, I'm sure I could still do decent damage, but seeing that I'm in New Game Plus and I'm, I'm, I'm probably gonna be going into New Game Plus Plus, um, I mean, I, I don't know if it'd be like an additional challenge if I pick the church pick. 
Kirk Hammer, I've never really been a big fan of, but that's a possibility. Um, Simon's Bow Blade, again, it's awesome, but it's a skill and blood hinge weapon, so not really. I'm more of a strength build. Um, Shikage, um, again, that's a blood hinge weapon. It's cool, though. Rikuyo, awesome weapon, but unfortunately, again, a blood hinge. I think in the DLC, they added a lot of um, blood hinge skill and arcane weapons because there really wasn't very many in the main game. So I understand that, but at the same time, it kind of sucks. Um, Boomhammer, I guess, is a possibility. I don't really care for it that much. Really, Wigsaw is an excellent opportunity because it's A, in strength, and B, in arcane. And I'm a strength build, and I'm kind of going arcane anyways because of the Moonlight Greatsword. So I'm thinking maybe Whirly Wigsaw. The only thing is it's kind of a heavy weapon, and I already have a heavy weapon in the Holy Moonlight Sword. I usually like to have a fast weapon and a heavy weapon. So that's why I'm using the Saw Cleaver and the Moonlight Sword. So I don't know if I want to go Whirly Wigsaw. Um, it's not the fastest right here. That's a lot slower than Saw Cleaver. And it's definitely slow here. Um, not to mention it makes that annoying sound all the time. But it would be a good choice as far as damage output. Um, I don't really care for the lollipop chainsaw design of it, but, you know, it's alright. It's alright. If the blades were actually spinning, like, all the time, that would be cool. Just slowly spinning, even when you're not using it. Um, Bloodletter, I don't think so, just because it's a blood tinge weapon. The Amigdalan arm, surprisingly, is an opportunity for us. I mean, yes, it's ugly and really weird. Kind of just awkward and stuff, but I think we could actually potentially make this a really good weapon. It has awesome reach, really weird, really weird moveset, but it does have good strength and arcane scaling, so that's a possibility. The cost parasite, if you guys are wondering what the heck is this thing that we just got, you can't even see it. Um, unless and this is the weapon we just got from the boss if you really want to use the cost parasite you need to equip the milkweed rune and then notice now I have tentacle arms um, this is when the cost parasite is really fully activated look how freaking weird it is it's very slow it doesn't do a lot of damage it basically makes us into like halfway a great one um, your L1 activates both arms. Very strange, isn't it? Very, very, very strange. Your L2 has like an AoE blast, but it also uses quicksilver bullets. So, I don't know. Kind of weird. And you, not to mention that it's the ugliest looking head in the whole game. I'm really disappointed that um, it makes you look like the cauliflower head. They could have made that a lot better. I'm sorry. That, that's just hideous and ugly and not really good at all. So, I don't know. Um, what do you guys think? Which weapon do you guys think would be a good combo to go with the uh, Holy Moonlight Sword? Um, the uh, Beast Hunter Safe um, is pretty cool looking. And it has an interesting moveset because... Zoop, 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 zoop. It is fast. I just like it. Looks kind of like a backward scythe. I don't know, but it's it is very similar to the beast uh, beast hunter. What is this called? Saw cleaver. Um, so if you guys think that's too similar, you know I won't use it. So yeah, um, that's a really long winded answer to say what am I going to be doing next. So probably going to be playing New Game Plus somewhat. Um, probably going to be finishing my. Uh, what are these called? Chalice Dungeons. I'm not quite done with all the Chalice Dungeons. I got a, a few more. I'm like halfway done with that. So haven't got all my achievements yet. And probably going to be playing a bunch of, the, of other games. So anyways, guys, really long uh, video for just a boss fight. But look at that doll kind of chucking us out creepily. What you looking at? Oh, almost got her. All right, guys. Well, as I said before, I really enjoyed doing this DLC with you guys. I hope you enjoyed it. 
Um, if you found this video or any of my DLC videos helpful um, at any time, please go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. It uh, really helps me out. And thank you guys for watching. This is Lucian Sword. Take it easy, guys. See you next one.